Throughout the history of CSGO, there have been many players to climb to the top, but who is the greatest of all time? Hey guys, welcome to my channel, time is but a window. Counter-Strike has been out for a long time. In fact, Counter-Strike Global Offensive has been around for 10 years. During that time, there has been one player that has been standing out beyond all others, and that player is Simple. Simple has been the proverbial Michael Jordan of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. But is he really the best player in Counter-Strike Global Offensive? Well, let's see. Does he have the most major wins? The answer is no. That honor was undoubtedly by the most dominant team in Counter-Strike history, Astralis, winning an absurd four majors. The four players who won all four of these being Glaive, Zipnix, Dupree, and Device. So why aren't these players the ones that are considered the best in the world? The answer is statistics. While this team clearly dominated the Counter-Strike scene together, not one of them is considered the best player in the world. Which is saying something when you realize that Device has two major final MVPs. When we really look at it, Counter-Strike is a game of numbers. If you get more rounds than the other team, you're going to win the game. Oh, this happens! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E-League major champions! But to win those rounds, you're going to need to have kills. Still though, there's a catch. There's only so many kills that you can get. And with a very balanced team, the kills aren't always easy to come by. Meanwhile, if someone is required to carry a team, they're going to show much flashier numbers. Here is a chart of the top 10 players with the highest kills per round in the last six months. And who is that player with 0.8 FPR? That would be Zaiwu. I'm sure that you've heard of him. Known as one of the best players in the world, and rightfully so. But there's someone missing on this list. Now, if we keep moving up all the way up here, that would be simple. With a ridiculous 0.87 frags per round, this is nearly 0.1 frags per round higher than the next player. Now, while Simple is really good at getting a lot of frags, there are a lot more dynamics to Counter-Strike than just how many kills you can get. To calculate this, HLTV.org has come up with a system called Player Rating. This rating was based on the number of kills per round, the survival rate of a player per round, and the amount of multi-kills a player got, which is known as the Impact Rating. The higher each of these values are, the higher the rating a player would get. So here are the top 10 highest player ratings in the past 6 months. Once again, we see Zaiwu edging out the competition. Oh, but where's Simple? Oh wait, that's right, he's uh, way up here. Clearly, statistically, Simple has been the most dominant player of the past 6 months. But people have been toting Simple's name as the best player of Counter-Strike for far longer than that. What if we look at the highest rated players for the lifetime of CSGO? Now here we find some pretty surprising results. Now it actually looks like Zaiwu is edging out Simple. Now to be fair, Simple was statistically on top for a very long time. Zaiwu hasn't played nearly as long, but he definitely seems to be showing his longevity and has pushed past Simple statistically. Which is actually really interesting as Simple has only in recent times won his first major. So what's going on here? Well, let's look more closely at the past three months. As you can see here, Simple does not even make the top 10 players statistically. So what's going on here? Well, at the bottom of the list, you can see the aim god, Nico. I'm sure you guys remember this clip. Simple and bitten. Times it to perfection. And Simple sitting down! No! If only his nerves hadn't gone to him, he could have changed the history of Counter-Strike forever. A little above him, you can see the new up-and-coming AWP savant, Monacy. Triple there, Monacy is in a lot of trouble. He no-scopes one of them. He keeps going. Ten seconds, he fakes the bomb, oh. spins around, takes down Woody, and now he's at the hunt, running up close and personal. Oh, oh what a flick! Get he it. doesn't have the time for the Surely he put up. Monacy still could have the shot. Oh, and there Who is led by known crowd favorites like... Brokey, Rops, Rez, and Blame F. Which leads me to wonder, is the era of Simple over? After all, he didn't win PGL Antwerp. Okay, all joking aside, he did get top two at the last major. So it's not like he's completely fallen off. But that's not the topic of this video. It's not who is a great player in Counter-Strike. It's who is the best player in Counter-Strike. 
given the amount of rounds played, plus the amount of consistency, it's hard to ignore that Simple is a statistical GOAT. Even though technically, Zaiwu edges him out in player rating, Simple has played nearly 15,000 more rounds. But a player's career does not just mean at their peak, it means throughout their entire career. So as of right now, the best player in the world is statistically Zaiwu. In the back of the site or in his favorite spot with Zaiwu inside the ramp waiting. But they didn't respond to it. Holy hell, a Zeus from Zaiwu in a grand finals against Simple. 26 HP still to fight with, but it's gonna be Shocks with a good trade. Now Simple scoped in, and they're gonna hit themselves right into the brick. Oh! He can play, he can play. You hold but let's see how well he holds up after the same amount of games as Simple has played. But keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier, this does not take into consideration Majors 1. When that's considered, Simple definitely edges out Zywoo. But really taking Majors into consideration changes the entire landscape. And I'd have to bring back up Device, because let's be honest, winning four Majors is hard to ignore, and the fact that he's still top 14 on the player's rating list should put him under serious consideration. Poison slow down a little bit. They're not really getting the big entry frags, Ben. That's kind of when they've fallen into a, a bit of a trap. And Astralis, they always have those backup plans. And they also have Device, the man, the myth, the beast. As he pops off, Ben, three kills, found four kills. Device wants the end of the Oh, Device has decimated them. Because no matter what, at the end of the day, everyone's goal is to win a major. It's not to get the most kills in a game. It's not to be the most impactful player, but to be the greatest winner. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did, and as always, have a great day.